Hi, first grade. We are going to start our spelling video this morning with a little phonemic awareness game. Phonemic sound awareness, understanding and hearing them. Um, so this is just a listening and speaking activity, but it is kind of a tricky one. So I think I'm going to be uh, writing out a couple of things for you as we go through just to help you understand. So basically, let's just start. Uh, well, I'll just start. Um, Listen as I say the sounds in the word safe. 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 S. A. F. All right. S. A. F. Safe. Not so bad. All right. Easy. You know that. Now what I want, and here they are. Now what I'm going to do is listen as I say them in reverse order. That means backwards. Backwards order the sounds that are in the word Safe. So, f a s f a s. When I took the sounds from the word safe and I took them and put them in reverse order, I came up with the word f a s face. Face. So, today we're going to be playing a game where you take the sounds from a word and you put them in reverse order. So, you know, first you'll start with the last sound. So in the case of safe, that was f, say that. Then the middle vowel sound, which was a, and then whatever the initial or the first sound of the word was, in this case, s, f, a, s, face, which not spelled F-A-S, but again, we're just working with the sounds. Um, okay, let's try one. Listen to the word make, make, make. So first you have to determine what are the three sounds you're hearing in make, just regular order. M, A, K, make, okay. Now let's go reverse order. So what's the last sound we hear in make? So, k. what's that middle vowel sound we hear? A. And what's that first sound we hear? M. Mm. A little messy, but that's okay. So, put them together. K, aim, came. We took the word make and we turned it into came. All right, let's not focus on the actual visual of it, I guess, the, the, what those sounds look like, because again, we're just trying to play with the sounds that we, we're hearing. All right, um, I'm going to give you a sound. Uh, I want you to, or excuse me, a word, and then, it's so hard to do this <laughs> with through a computer, but that's okay. I'm gonna give you a word, and um, I'd like you to take a second, see if you can come up with the, reverse sounds. All right, so let's just let's just play a couple and try. It's kind of tricky virtually, but you will need to listen and you will need to actually say some sounds out loud. All right, let's try the word deal. Deal. First thing you want to do, take the sounds you hear. D E O. Deal. D E O. Now I'd like want you to go ahead and reverse those sounds and say them for me. Go ahead and try on your own. Remember, the word was deal. Now, if you're having a hard time, no worries. Also, if you want to pause the video at any time to make me slow down, if you need more time to think, do that. Um, deal, d-eel. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that last sound, l. What was the middle sound again? E. What was the first sound? D. O lead. Lead. I took it from deal to lead. Nice. We'll try again. This word is time. Time. T I'm. T I'm. So go ahead and reverse the order and see if you can say those sounds in reverse order and then come up with the new word. The word was time. Time. 
So my last sound was m, m. My middle vowel sound was i, and my first sound was t, m, i, t, might, might. Ah, I took it from time to might. If you're having a hard time with this, that's okay. It's kind of tricky. The whole point is being able to understand those sounds and play around with them. Put them out of their regular order. This is a hard one. I mean, it's our final phonemic awareness game in our curriculum, so it's going to be the harder one. Let's do a couple of more. Um, all right, the word is tone. Tone. T-O-N. Grab that last sound first. N, that middle sound. O, that first sound. T. N, O, T. Note. Note. We took it from tone to note. All right, two more, two more. You're doing great. I know it's hard. The word is team. 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 M eat. M eat. Meat. We took it from team to meat. One more. Cheap. Cheap. Cheap is like the sound that a chick might make, or it means if something is inexpensive, not expensive. Cheap. Ch eep. Ch eep. Reverse it. P each. P each. Hopefully you said peach. We took it from cheap to peach. Nice job. All right, that was a great warm up game. Now for today's lesson for your spelling words. So if you recall, you have already learned some words such as these. Sailor, farmer. What do you know about these words? What do you know about these words? Well, first of all, both of these words contain a base word, right? That initial word, sail and farm, and they contain a suffix, a suffix, which is a fancy word for an ending, a special ending. In this case, O-R and E-R. And we talked about how when you have a suffix, like O-R or E-R, that means um, a person who does something. So for sailor, a person who sails. Farmer, a person who farms, all right? Or an object, an object or a person who does whatever the base word is. So those are called suffixes. They're like these little endings that you put on a base word to change it a little bit, but it's still related to that initial base word meaning. This week, your words are all words that contain something called a prefix. A prefix, okay? So instead of a suffix, which is an ending, a prefix is a part that you tack on at the beginning of a word. Let me show you. If I showed you these two words here, you could first figure them out, right? By covering up what we refer to as the prefix, that beginning sort of part. So in this case, we have the base word uh, um, pack, but we put the word un in front of it. And then down here, same thing, we have the word pack, but instead of un, we put re. So we have unpack, repack, unpack, repack. Um, what's the same about these as if like sailor and farmer is you have a base word, and in this case it's pack, and you're attaching um, like a beginning chunk, which is called a prefix, but alas. It's kind of a hard word to remember. So if I were going to go look at this word, if I didn't know it and I came across it, I would first decide, okay, there's that UN or there's that RE. I know that's a, I know that's a prefix. So let me cover that up. Read the base word to myself. Oh, the base word is pack. Oh, unpack. But here's the thing. You need to know what these prefixes mean. And in the case of un and re, which 
are all your spelling words this week. When we have a prefix un, that means not or the opposite of. And when we have the prefix re, re, that means again. So if you look back at these words, such as unpack, so to unpack is to, is, the, is to do the opposite of pack, right? And think about it. Let's say you go on a trip, you've brought a suitcase, and when you arrive, what do you do? You take up, you grab your suitcase, you open it up, and you unpack. So you're doing the opposite of packing. If you pack a suitcase, you're putting clothes and objects inside of it, but when you are unpacking, un, you're doing the opposite of that base word, pack. But if you had repack, that re uh, prefix, excuse me, is again. So it's to pack again. So let's say you go on a trip and your mom says, hey, we're leaving, pack your bag. And so you go in your room and you pack up your bag. Then you arrive at your destination and your mom says, all right, unpack your bag. You open up your suitcase, you take all the things out. You have done the opposite of packing it, you've unpacked it. But now your mom goes, oh my gosh, we're in the wrong hotel room. Woo, they gave us the wrong key card. Quick, repack your bag so we can move. Repack, so now you gotta pack it again. So again, pack, pack again, opposite of pack. And sometimes though, un means not. So let me show you some. Um, I have a little chart here. Feel free to make this chart, pause the video and make it. And we'll just divide some, um, we'll place some words, we'll categorize some of our, of our words. So for example, how about the word unlock, 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 what, sorry, what prefix do you hear in unlock? The UN, UN, so to unlock something means to do the opposite of, not of, excuse me, to do the opposite of locking it, right? If you unlock a door, you are not locking it, you're doing the opposite of that. Excellent. What if I said relock? Relock. Relock is going to go over here because the prefix is different, so it changes the word a little bit. We still have the base word lock, but in this case, you are locking again. To lock again, to not lock, or to opposite, to opposite of lock. How about the word unhappy unhappy which prefix do you hear hopefully you said un unhappy so that means to be the opposite of happy or not happy unhappy rehappy is rehappy a word no it really only works when it's a verb um how about Oh, what if you're, uh, what if you need to move some electronic device? You might need to unplug it. Unplug. So to do the opposite of plugging it, take it out to unplug. How about the word retell? Retell. Oh. That's such a nice story. Can you retell me that story? I love it. Retell. Oh, it's going to go over here. To retell means to tell again. Tell me the story again. Please retell it to me. How about reuse? Oh, well, I'll just reuse. I'll just reuse this marker. No, that's fine. I can reuse it. That means to use something again, reuse. Now, these are just a few words, but the point is, if you come across, let's say you came across this word, reuse. It's kind of a weird looking word and you might go, reuse. Nope, cover up that prefix. Whoops, cover up that prefix. What do you have? Use, you know that word, use, oh. Reuse, reuse. So not only will you understand the word, but you'll be able to read the word. Always look for that base word and then determine, oh, if, is there a prefix here? Let me cover it up, figure out the base word and that, and then just add the sound of the prefix, re and un. So today, your spelling words, your final 
trying little spelling list. Oh my goodness. You're going to have words with the prefixes un and re. We've got unhappy, refill, to fill again, right? Untie, undo, repay, unkind, undress, retell, reopen, rewind, and then different and carry. Different and carry. Also, when we say the word rewind, that means to go back, right? Um, to rewind something means to wind it again, and that's because um, a long, long time ago, uh, oftentimes if you were to watch a video, like uh, a VHS, you, I don't know if you know what that is, but um, kind of like an old tape. They were pretty big. Um, if you wanted to watch a movie and it was in, and you watched the whole movie, it had actual film on these spinning, um, you know, cog-like pieces. I'm, I'm blanking on words, I'm sorry. But in order to replay the movie, replay, you would have to rewind that tape, that film, back to its original position. So that's why we, that's where we get the word rewind. But now it doesn't quite apply, apply you know, when, when we're on a YouTube video. If I said, oh, just rewind the video, you're not actually winding any film, right? But because once upon a time you had to do that, that's where that word originates. I think that's where that word originates. But, you know... Who knows? Uh, that's that. That's my. Um, that's me drawing a logical conclusion based on prior knowledge. Right? Okay. So yeah, you do have to do all the spelling words though, or all the spelling pages, all four of them. Right? We kind of changed to that. And good job. Bye.